I do not, I will not be only re referring to the past, but I, I re keep referring to the past in a very abstract and a conceptual sense, uh, you know, the past of, of, of the Sinhalese, the notion of Sinhalese sure, and being sure. Buddhist. Yeah. Mm, no, no, we, we are, no, you see, I, I'm an artist, I can never keep referring to the past, I will always refer to the to the present. Right now what we are, you know, even okay, for the for the Biennale, this Colombo Art Biennale, mm -hmm. what we are doing is a very a big curtain. Mm. I mean like, you know, curtain is a metaphor for so for so many things. Mm. But this is a curtain that you can break. That's you know when you break it you break the art. Mm. That's mm. that's you know, so this is a very conceptual So art. do you want to do you want in a in a in a in a in a Plato sense people to yeah. to see the light from the cave? Do you want them to open the curtain? Yes, yes. What is behind but the curtain? Is it pleasant? You never know, is it? You never know, but you know, <laughs> okay, but only certain people are privileged to do that. Will be allowed to do that. Only if who you have, decides that, Raga? I decide. Yeah. <laughs> who are you to decide? That? I'll tell you. Only if you have a have an ID written yeah. in Sinhalese, you can do it. Sure. So you know the whole, what, what I'm driving at. Right. But also, okay, I, I'm not going to describe the artwork. Yeah, yeah. It's a conceptual artwork hmm. because you know, like you see this, but the art that yeah. would come would engage people more than ever before. Right. Okay. So, so that you know, we think of uh, community as as artist, like you know, for them to engage with it, rather than art as a uh, fetish object hung on the wall and you look at. No, not that way. Artist is something to engage with. Mm. So this curtain is is more or less not. But one of our the, but uh, I mean, the sense I'm getting is that you feel that there will be more engagement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As we move forward, yeah, uh, yes. which has been lacking earlier. Yeah, or, we have already started it a uh, right. bit, like, yeah. like for example, we have another huge art pro program which we do with children in, in the south, that's called cultural mapping. Mm. We make kids to do the cultural map of their villages. Mm. So the, the, a bunch, group of kids from one village, one particular village, do different maps, mm. so mm. that it will allow them to think of how they perceive their own, own village. And it's also about heritage management. You know, so these, there are different kinds of art now. Mm. That we, you know, the process is more important than the end product. Mm. And do you also feel that there is now, uh, for example, there is now a more pro professionalism in, in galleries and, yes, and, and, yes, and, yes. and kind of like, you we know, have, you know we have disciplining the artists mm, to say, mm, this is, yeah. you know, they're better, you know, is, is that also a movement you feel is going to grow and, and people coming it, into galleries course, is, is, yeah. is more. It has begun already. Yeah, yeah. and it's a, it's a welcome development, you feel? But you can't really speak, can you? <laughs> I, you see, you know, <laughs> yeah. I cannot say no. But you see, yeah, yeah. we are not starving artists anymore. Right. There are no starving artists in this country. Right. Which is anymore. a good thing, yeah? It's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Well, because you know, artists, artists can, can be very comfortable in certain situations. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Well, if you are a true artist, you will never, you know, you will always negotiate with the situations and, you know, you, mm. just, you, know, you, you are, you know, one, 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 one aspect of being an artist is that he is always, you know, questioning and, you know, negotiating, conflicting, and you know, is, yeah, when you're a true artist, you're never I'm using certain words there, which I do not like to a true artist, who am I to define a true artist? But you're never settled? You're never settled, yes, yeah. yeah. Are you settled? No, I don't. Will you ever be settled? No, man, that's the curse of being an artist and a thinking person sometimes, you know, how can you ever be settled, even when so much is going around, mm -hmm. on around, like yesterday people were making me eat kiribat, mm -hmm. like, you know, well, um, as as people living in this country, a bit relief of 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 the end of yeah. the you know, military victory, but at the same time, it's not that there's n there, there isn't that much of reason to be so jubilant as such, because yeah. you know we could be jubilant when we bring out a real political solution, like so, making people making me eat kiribat and lunamiris, you know, felt like you know what is this? Like you know, of course you know you should be very relieved and you know could, could be happy, but. Because I'm not just the, this way. I'm also inside the public and also outside of the public. You know, of course. So uh, inside I, looking in, uh, yeah, out, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, outside looking in. So I, I think the, I mean, people like you, the media, and all that also bring out the, this aspect. Okay, be happy, but at the same time, be critical. Mm. Like you know, mm. this is also a reality. The Tamil nationalism and the LTT and the single nationalism, and we, these are these are realities in this country with which we have to deal with. Like as an artist, I would be dealing with it in a different way from now on. Mm. Jagat, it's been a pleasure talking with you and all the very best with both the Biennale and also your, your reinvention as an artist <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.
Thank you.